next topic is coloring of the graph and this topic is from graph theory so according to the coloring of the graph an assignment of colors to the vertices of the graph so that no two edges and vertices get the same color is called coloring of the graph or simply vertex coloring see here no two edges and vertex gets the same color so it should be different different colors so the first one is if it's red color so you shouldn't use the same red color to this adjacent vertices so we have to use the another color so this is nothing but the coloring of the graph here the chromatic number of this graph is nothing but we used two colors and therefore the chromatic number of this graph is two and the next one coming to this graph so we have to color this graph first of all i'm using red color here so if i use red color here the adjacent vertices shouldn't be red color and here this is also adjacent to this one so i have to use some other color so i am using this color see here this is one color and this one is another color and see i can use this color the same color as this is not adjacent so here the chromatic number of this graph is 2 and next coming to this one coming to this uh, graph first i am using this red color here so i shouldn't use red to this adjacent one this one and this one and so i use another color here so i am using blue so i shouldn't use blue here and again i am using the same color here for this so i shouldn't use blue color again here and also i shouldn't use this red color so i am using another color green here so green i should not use green here i should not use red here and so i am again using this blue color here so blue it is not adjacent to this one so blue red green so red blue green and therefore i used three colors and therefore the chromatic number of this graph is 3 clear and the next one here the graph is first i am using red color see here this is the red color i have used and i shouldn't use red color here as it is adjacent vertices and next i can use red color here as it is not adjacent and here also i can use red color so and the next color i am going to use here is see green i shouldn't use green here here and here and next i can use the same color here as uh, they are not adjacent figures and therefore the chromatic number of this graph is 2 and next one coming to this graph see i am using red color here first i shouldn't use red here red here and red here and so i am selecting one more color so i am using this blue so i shouldn't use blue here and blue here and so i am using another color green so if i use green here it shouldn't be green here so i shouldn't use blue again i shouldn't use red again and so i am selecting some other color see here so this is some other color so therefore here the chromatic number for this graph is nothing but four so i have used four colors here and next one here for this i am using red color here at the top and next i shouldn't use red here and red here and so i can use here so one after leaving this one this is not an adjacent color and next one i am using green here so i shouldn't use green and green therefore i can use green here and in order to satisfy this one i have to use some other color this is the color i am using therefore how many colors i have used so i have used three colors therefore the chromatic number of this graph is 3 and next one see the coloring of the graph here is so i am starting with red so if i start with red here and as i shouldn't use red to the both adjacent vertices and so i am i am again using this one i am leaving this one and again i am using this red color here and next color here i am using is so this is green again i am leaving this one so this is green and this one is green color so no two adjacent vertices get the same color therefore the chromatic number here is 2 and the next thing here is 
see i am using red color here after using i am leaving this and again this one red color i have to leave this and again this red color and next one again i have to use some other color here so i am selecting this blue color here and again this blue color and again i can use blue color here so blue it shouldn't be repeated here as it is adjacent red shouldn't be repeated and therefore i am using some other color so which is this one so in this case i have used three colors and therefore the chromatic number here is three and the next one in this case see here if you observe this one so if i start with red i have to leave this one i shouldn't use red to these two vertices and again i can use this red color here and i shouldn't use red here and red here and again i can use red color here and the next thing here i'm using another color so this is green so i shouldn't use green here and this one i can use green and next one here also green so I shouldn't use red as well as green so I have to take some other color in this case I am taking some other color here and therefore in order to color this graph I used three colors and therefore the chromatic number here is three see in this case the chromatic number is chromatic number here is three and the next one for this coloring see here if I start with red here I shouldn't use red to both the vertices as they are adjacent vertices and next i have to leave this and if i go here if i use this one so after using this one i can use this one as they are not adjacent and the next color i am going to use here is green so if i start with green i shouldn't use green again here and therefore i am using green here and next one see here i shouldn't use green here i shouldn't use red so after using red and green i have to take some other color so i am taking this color and therefore the chromatic number here is three and see here if i start with red color for this i shouldn't use red here and here and next i can't use here red color and next i have to leave this one and i have to take another color so here if i take this color if i start with another color here see here this is violet so i have to leave this one and next one here and the next one here i can use so as these two are adjacent so different different colors and therefore here the chromatic number here is two and the next thing here is if i start with red color see as usual red i shouldn't use red here and here as they are adjacent again i can use here i can leave this one so as these two are adjacent so again i can use red color here and next one i have to select one more color that is this one green if i select so these three are adjacent figures and i can use green here and here see got it and therefore the chromatic number for this graph is nothing but 2 here the chromatic number here is 2 and in the next figure see here if i select this one see be very careful while drawing so it's also very interesting so if i start with red color here if i start with red color here so these are the adjacent vertices one two three four i shouldn't use red again here and again i can use red color here and next one if i start with green here so this shouldn't be green and this shouldn't be green so this can be green and this color can be green and see here and which color i can use i can use this another color violet here this is a violet color and again this is not adjacent so this green i can use again here so this green color again i can use and this will be see i'm again using this green color say therefore how many colors i've used this is red violet and green therefore the chromatic number of this graph is three and next coming to this if i start with red color see if i start with red color here so i shouldn't use red here 
and here and here i can use again this red color and next thing here is if i use this green color here so again so okay 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 so there is a connection here and therefore i shouldn't use green color i'm taking some other color here so here i am taking blue color so this is a blue color here this is blue and this one green this is blue and these two are red so i shouldn't use blue color here i shouldn't use green color here and blue color here and therefore i am selecting one more color. see here i can again use this red color here so they are not connected so these three are not connected so green to red and see green to red and again blue so this color is blue so i have used this blue color here green color here and therefore the chromatic number of this graph is 3 so this is the chromatic number and this one this graph is peterson graph and see here be very careful so i am using red color so in order to color this one i am coloring with red color and here i shouldn't use red color to this vertices one two three and again i am using red color here and next one i shouldn't use red color to these three and again i can use red color as it is not adjacent vertices and therefore i shouldn't use red color to these as they are connected and here also i shouldn't use and next i have to select the second color so here is i am taking green color so i shouldn't use green here and again i can use this green color here so after taking this i shouldn't use green color here and the next thing here also i shouldn't use green for these two and uh, here i can use green color and next coming to this again i have to take some other color so which color so if i take here this one so this is the thing which i can use here these are not adjacent and again these are not adjacent therefore the peterson graph so i have used how many colors here three colors so this is how we have to draw this one so the chromatic number for this graph is three see here green color red color and see here this is orange color and the next one this is complete bipartite graph see for this complete bipartite graph i am selecting red at the top see here i am starting with red color as these two are not adjacent i shouldn't use red for all these four vertices and again i can use red color here and here and the next thing here i can use which color some other color so as these two are not adjacent so again i can use this green color and this is again green color and this is again green color and therefore for the complete bipartite graph the chromatic number here is two and the next one herschel's graph this one so if i start with this so if i start with red color here if i start with red color i shouldn't use red color for all these adjacent vertices and again i can use red color here so here also this is not adjacent and this is not connected one vertex and next thing which i am going to use is the green color so if i use green color here so no two vertices have the same color next one here also i can use green color so this one is again green color and this one is green color so if you observe this one so again i can use this red color here as they are not adjacent as they are not adjacent see here no two adjacent vertex, vertex have the same color so if you observe proper, properly so if you observe this one red green red green red green red green so no two same colors are erasing and the next thing here is i can use again this green color so this is green and this one is green so for this total graph covering i have used two colors so the, therefore the chromatic number of this herschel's graph is two and therefore for complete bipartite graph uh, the chromatic number is two and for the peterson graph so this one is uh, 
chromatic number is 3 and this is how we have to color the graphs no two adjacent vertices should get the same color see here red green so this is red orange this is red orange no two colors repeats therefore this is the way we have to color the graph and the minimum colors we are, which we are using to color the graph is called the chromatic number and thank you so much if you really like please practice definitely it will be very easy pass it out to your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos